Hey everybody, welcome back. We're still on Monopoly. We're on part 10 of Monopoly, Theory of the Firm. Okay, we got a price ceiling equals price uh, equals price opt, all right? Now let me just say, you've made it to part 10. You're awesome, you're in double digits now, okay? We are really in the hard stuff here. So, we're gonna do a price ceiling and it's gonna be equal to price opt. But let me set this up first, okay? We've got this monopolist operating and they're not a price discriminator. We're gonna say not a price discriminator. So demand, market, no price discrimination. MR is gonna break away at twice the slope. I've actually got my marginal cost curve right here in my hand, imagine that. So we're gonna draw the marginal cost curve, I always like that to be in red. And now we're gonna go find out the output level. No biggie, right? MC equals MR. Find where MC and MR go down. Q profit max. Sometimes we might put just Q monopolist, the quantity we're gonna produce that the monopolist is going to produce or the quantity that gives us profit max. What's the price going to be? Well, if we don't intervene, if there's no intervention, we're going to charge a price based on the demand curve. We've got pricing power. This is the price monopolist without intervention. Let me say that again. That price is the monopolist without intervention. But now we're going to have some intervention. We're going to actually put in a price ceiling. Now there's all kinds of places we could put a price ceiling and we need to practice putting price ceilings in a lot of different places because who knows what our professor or any test that we're going to do, what they're going to do. And on top of that, we just want to understand it deeply, right? But what's the most common place to put the price ceiling? It's at P-opt. The price that would have given us the quantity optimum or the optimum quantity. And what is that? That's right here where MC and demand are intersecting, okay? so. If we would have had a price right there, we would have produced all the way to Q opt. Okay, so this is the most common place for somebody to put a price ceiling because we're intervening. We want to improve the outcome, and this is a weird thing. We're about to improve the outcome with a price ceiling. We've never seen that in the video before. So far, price ceilings are price controls, and for the most part, they've been hurting things. But in this particular situation, with market power and a strategically placed uh, price ceiling, we can actually get an improved outcome. And let's see that now, okay? Using our information from part nine, guess what? The price ceiling is now the MR curve, okay? The price ceiling is now the MR curve, up to the demand curve. So the price ceiling, that's right there. That's not PC for P consumer, that's PC for price ceiling. It's now the MR curve to the demand curve. So I'm gonna put MR, MR. Now, once I hit the demand curve, I drop straight down, we saw this in the last video, to the old MR curve. So this green line I just drew, this thing right here, MR, MR, now we're back on the old MR line. So once the government intervenes, MR changes. And that means our output's gonna change because output is always based on MC equals MR, right? At least that's what the firm's going to do. They're going to produce as long as MR exceeds MC. So let's see what happened to our output. If this is our new MR line all the way to the demand curve, we're going to keep producing because look at that MC right there. The MR is above MC for a higher level of output, which is just a crazy thing, okay? Price ceilings we've always learned have reduced output levels, but not when we have a monopolist. I know, weird. But the, what we're actually going to get is a higher level of output because MR is exceeding MC all the way up until that dot right there. So I'm going to bring that down. This is our Q with our price ceiling. Okay, it's also our Q opt. We've actually gotten all the way to Q opt, which is a weird outcome, but it can happen. Now. This is still theory, okay? This is the concept. We're trying to get some foundational concepts. In practice, I don't want us all taken away that, hey, any, mo any monopolist means we should do a price ceiling for sure. Now, we might want to intervene and do some price controlling for certain monopolists, certain utility companies, okay? That can certainly help. But we probably don't want to come in on anybody that has market failure and put these price ceilings because yes, they can give us short-term gains, but in the long-term, they're actually gonna hurt some things down the road. But in the short run, or just you know, at the present, you come in with that price ceiling, a strategically placed one, can prove market outcomes. We've actually got a situation here. We went from dead weight loss, this would have been the dead weight loss right there, to no dead weight loss, 
improved market outcomes. Anyhow, hopefully that made sense to you. That's a price ceiling equaling the price opt, and it gave us our Q opt. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.